Hello everybody, welcome back to High Functioning Gaming. So, still continuing on here with Pokemon Violet. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, I, I kind of feel like the terrain moves, you know, the whole thing with, like, applying a terrain effect is a bit underused compared to some of the weather effects. I mean, there's several abilities that take advantage of any of the weather effects, but with the terrain, there's, well, unless they added some with, uh, Scarlet and Violet, there's a grand total of five such abilities for all of the terrain effects. And four of those just cause the terrain effect to kick in when the Pokemon that has that ability enters the battlefield. You know, when they're, when they're sent out. I, I'm kind of used to saying enter the battlefield because I've played some Magic the Gathering, so just kind of bear with me there. Um... Yeah, man. I guess the character has very little leg strength. See, that's why you're not supposed to skip leg day. Like I said, I just kind of feel like it might be a bit underutilized because... Well, underutilized by the game itself because I know that there's people that you know, will make a whole team for like the battle tower or competitive play that makes use of a weather effect. But it looks like you can't exactly do the terrain. At least not quite extensively. <laughs> also, one thing that does kind of have me a bit worried about... Uh, Scarlet and Violet. In past games in the series, well, start with Gen 4 at least, you could easily have like just kind of an endless supply of money, which, you know, it's... It could be argued that kind of breaks the game because that meant you didn't have to, like, ration potions or that kind of thing. But, still, I thought it kind of made the game better overall. Uh, not to mention... Oh, okay. Starting with that point on, there's also kind of like an endless supply of heart scales, which this game does not have. Not that it matters, because... There isn't even an NPC that takes care of that anymore. Instead, you could just, you know, do that through the summary. But I digress. The... Oh. Well, they said other side of the desert. I thought they meant over here. Seriously? Okay, fine. Yeah. 
Okay, so in this game, however, there doesn't appear to be such a thing. There... Hey, there's no underground or, you know, other means of, like, getting vendor items just kind of limitlessly. Aside from, I suppose, running around with a team full of Pokemon that all have the ability to pick up. Uh Huh. Oh, wait. Derp. There doesn't appear to be any means of challenging trainers to rematches. Aren't you kind of old to still be a student at the academy? Unless it doesn't just cover K-12, but college as well. Dirt. Wrong one. I really need to really gotta find another Zangoose to catch, because I'd like to have one for taking and for just, you know, doing battles and another one for catching Pokemon because it's there's Actually with the Pokemon I can I know of off the top of my head that can learn False Threat by just leveling up, it's the only one I can I mean, it's the only one of two that I can think of. Yeah. The other one, by the way, is Ninkata, which evolves into Ninjask and... Maybe not the best choice for trying to, you know, catch Pokemon. If I'm not mistaken, Zangus does have better overall stats. And you still got to hand over your lunch money after all those 20 years in school. that grow in the desert. I'm supposed to reach that gimme ghoul. Can I put stickers on the map to bark the location? No. Well, that's something Game Freak could probably consider patching in. I'm up against it, might as well try to catch it. Mm. 
if memory serves, there was, uh, with the X-Men comics, although technically this is in the Marvel Universe, uh, there's like this race of aliens known as the Phalanx, and one among them, Doug, Of course. There's one among them, Doug. He's with the New Mutants. Might as well check just to be sure. Uh, do 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 do. I want to make sure I don't kill the darn thing. So, rock smash, I guess. No, Warlock. My bad. That's right, Doug is the name of uh, Cypher. I'm pretty sure it was... I'm pretty sure they are known as the Phalanx, because I remember them being called that in the... Uh, Animated, you know, the animated series back at the '90s that ran. It was, was X-Men. It was a multi-part episode that featured them as the, that featured the Phalanx as the villains. As the brass uses its extendable horn to issue orders to the others when it's time to change formation. Yeah, I guess I'll have to verify that between videos. Well. If I ever need to get another gimme ghoul, I can just breed it with a ditto. Plus, I imagine I'm going to get a Gimme Ghoul coin from this.
Yeah. Let's see if you can. Nope. Not unless it, you know, as an HM, it gains like some ability to climb and to climb walls or a high jump. Sorry, Herba Mystica. Practically acts as an HM, which makes the you know, how Herba Mystica can be abbreviated by their fitting. Is that a dung beetle? Is that a dung beetle Pokemon? Yeah, it is. Huh. For some reason, I figured it'd be part ground. But I guess not. Does it only know takedown? Seems like it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it knows other stuff. I didn't bother to use that. At least until just now. Mind you, that's not a complaint. That's just you know, more a statement of confusion. Uh, I'd say slam, considering that thing's terrible accuracy. Okay, so it's just pure bug. It rolls this mud ball around while, um, while the energy it needs for, ener for evolution matures. Eventually, the time comes for it to evolve. I wonder what sort of Pokemon it evolves into. Hopefully it doesn't evolve into a crappy one. You know, if there haven't been any, you know, Fan art or image macros of Nackley being involved, being incorporated into the Salt Bay May, Salt Bay meme. I am going to be very disappointed. Konata, apparently this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off, off and on and uh, make me feel a bit sick. So I'm gonna just sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. Uh, 
Why does that thing look like a cross between a turkey and an ostrich? Or maybe we only think it looks kind of like a turkey because it's Thanksgiving. is not a very good HM or TM. I suppose you're using it to weaken Pokemon for catching them. Of course, even then, it's not going to be the best. I think Sonic Boom or Dragon Rage. Probably more Sonic Boom, though, is going to work better. It, it, it can't be that tough. Okay, I may have been wrong about that. I figured that Clauncher would know more abilities, or more moves by this point. Okay, so it does. Not that it'll matter. Maybe I'll just go bury my head in the sand. You don't look like an ostrich. find any of those kinds of hold items just kind of lying around like that. How about what? Forgot in the lead. Seems like most of the people around here are using water type Pokemon. And I figured that most trains would have had to, would have at least two Pokemon by this point. Instead of running into a lot that still have only one. Bring you to another point. Um, leveling up Pokemon. But the last few generations, there have been ways that. Oh, this person, person actually has two. Uh, and I didn't catch what they were swapping in was. Eh. How bad could it be? How convenient. Huh. I know Ekans and Arbok can learn that, but I didn't know Surviper could. Oh, and we got nothing's got a type advantage against that. I 
because you could just try to brute force it. So like I was saying, in the last few generations, you know, leveling at Pokemon hasn't been too much trouble. Such that, heck, even in the last few of them, you could level a Pokemon up all the way up to 100 without too much trouble. Stack. Oh, that's got to be a uh, rock type. <laughs> it looks like it was brought in for Minecraft. <laughs> Wicklet is so freaking fragile. Center's right over there. Might as well just make a quick run over there. Okay. From the angle I was looking at it, that looks like it was an item. There. 
Man, the sandstorm is making it hard to see stuff. Hopefully it dies down soon. Oh, come on! I hit A repeatedly. So with, you know, sun and moon, there's the... What the heck was the aisle? With the uh, Pokemon... With the Poke Palago thing, there's this one island that you could use for leveling up Pokemon. As well as EV training. Not to mention the... I think it's the Isle of Fun... Yeah, there's the one where you could have Pokemon explore this one cave. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a sand dial and it's in the ground there. Vesta. God, kidding me. Didn't think it would make that big a difference. But I'm glad it did. Uh, live hidden under hot desert sands in order to keep their body temperatures body temperature from dropping. Alright. Uh, don't know of any crocodiles or alligators in the Marvel Universe. Of one in the DC Universe. But at least for, for for now, at least I'm trying to stick to the Marvel Universe. Another perfect name for Braviary, though. It's huge! Is that iron treads? <laughs> Hello, Konata. This is Professor Turo. Iron treads is a Pokemon that came from the great, great crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it with, for me. With all due caution, of course. Huh? It's also the Earth Titan? Uh... This is gonna go badly. Great. 
get the feeling even if I could have landed a hit on it, I'd barely even scratch the darn thing. See, barely scratched it. You know, fire type attacks are going to be weakened anyway. So, come back in 10 levels. Safe better that Pokemon like that's gonna ignore Gadsden flag. be right back roughly just wait right there got a freaking metal club, you'd think that Tinka Tink would be able to hit a little harder than that. Trying to drag this out as much as possible, hey?
Let's see, with its sharp claws, this Pokemon pierces its prey and then pecks at them. Although it also consumes berries, it's a carnivore at heart. Ah! So apparently that's too long. Uh, I'll take care of that later. I just want to saw a guinea eagle that was on the ground from, from during that battle. Uh, I guess it was maybe just the camera angle. I think a netball should do it. Yep. In ancient times, Lovres was worshipped as the emissary of the sun. However, it was also viewed as a burden since it often caused forest fires. There's little sparkly items respawn, but the ones that have the little pillar of light showing their location don't. Is the great creator of Paldea off limits, I wonder. Well, I just ran into a Pokemon that was that escaped from there. My guess is that it's dangerous. And there's the buzzer, so as always, folks, do not stop being awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, take care.